Hello and welcome back to Apache Camel tutorial. Today we'll be talking about JMS component. Okay, and how to use JMS component to connect to one of the uh, messaging brokers. So let's first try to understand what JMS is. So the Java messaging service or JMS API is a messaging standard that allows application components based on the Java platform enterprise edition, i.e. Java EE, to create, send, receive, and read messages. It enables distributed communication that is loosely coupled, reliable, and asynchronous. All right, so how JMS component in Camel works? Um, as usual, it uh, we have to define uh, uh, endpoint or URI. Uh, so this is how it looks like. So you give your component name, JMS, uh, then colon. Then you have to uh, tell that uh, are you going to connect to a queue or you're going to connect to a topic. By default, if you are connecting to um, a queue, you don't need to specify. Okay, you can you can ignore that. As if, however, you like to connect to a topic, then you will have to specify topic, as you can see in the example over here. Okay, so after you have defined whether it's a queue or topic, then you have to give the the destination name, i.e., topic or queue name. Okay, and there are several options you can specify, such as uh, connection factory, you know, the type of message, reply queues, etc., etc. You can take a look on on Camel website, um, search for JMS component, and there are um, there are literally you know 30, 40 options available for you to play uh, based based on your your requirements. Okay, uh, so as I was saying, so this is a quick example over here. This is how you form uh, your URI. Uh, when you're connecting to JMS component. So you prefix with JMS colon, then you give Q name. Okay. Uh, as I said, this is this is optional, but it's, it's, I think it's a good idea to give um, a hint that it's a Q or topic. And then you give your Q name. Okay. Uh, over here, for example, I have, I'm expecting that I'm, I'm trying to connect to a Q called orders. Okay. Same goes with topic, JMS colon, topic, colon, orders. All right. Perfect. Um, so in workshop, what we are planning to do, uh, we will be adding a dependency. Okay, what dependency do we need? We need Camel JMS dependency. Okay, and um, then we'll try to download and install Active MQ, which is uh, Apache's offering. Um, um, like you know, it's, it's a very lightweight, uh, but yet 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 quite fast messaging service. So we'll try to download that that messaging broker. Okay, and we'll of course try to read and write messages and if you get a time ie if i could finish in in a good time like you know i'll try to cover one advanced use case okay so let's just uh, go to our intellij over here so first thing what we would like to do is we like to download a dependency so what i have done in my pom file over here i have just got this particular dependency okay so i hope the the text size is good enough so you need org apache camel camel jms and you need to give the the, the version number which you are using for your core camel okay so in my case i am using uh, 3.11.3 .3, okay you can use the the latest and greatest version uh, which is available when when you are kind of watching this video and trying to play with with jms um so at this point, this is the dependency we need. Second dependency we would require because if we are like to um, uh, connect to ActiveMQ, so you will need two dependencies for ActiveMQ. You need uh, ORJ Apache uh, ActiveMQ and then uh, the artifact ID is uh, ActiveMQ-Camel and you need, a, so I'm using this version which is uh, available at the time of recording, 5.16.2. The second dependency, when you're connecting to um, active MQ is uh, you need a broker. Okay, so it can connect, it can read the messages and it can write the messages as well. Wonderful. So so these are the two things which we need. Now, what we want to do next is we like to install, okay, uh, active MQ. Uh, because as I said, um, you, you don't have to have anything installed. We will, this is a complete hands-on exercise. So let's just do that. So. I love to use Docker in, in my, my MacBook, uh, whether it's a PC or, or MacBook. I love love using Docker because, you know, you can install anything and then you can literally, you know, destroy that thing. So it's not going to hog uh, any, any resources on your computer once when you are not using it. Okay, so 
two ways you can install um, ActiveMQ. You can download the, the entire binary and then you can install it in your machine. I'm going to use Docker, as I just said. Uh, inside Docker, two ways. Again, you can say Docker pull and then you can give the image name. If you are doing again and again, um, I think it's a good idea to create a Docker Compose file. Uh, in my previous videos, I have uh, you know um, uh, mentioned how to create Docker Compose file and how you can execute it. So you can take a look over there. So what I did, I created a Docker Compose file over here. And this is how you need to uh, basically specify image, container name, port name for your ActiveMQ. All this code is, by the way, available on github.com slash jssagu or you can go to my website sagu.uk and you will be able to download the code. Okay, the, the links are uh, in, the, in the description below. All right, so once you have specified your Docker Compose file, what we really need to do is we just need to go to that destination Okay, I'm, I'm over here and then I'm simply going to say docker compose up. So we would like to bring our container up. Um, option dash D, which means you want to run uh, as a detached IE in the background. So you can, your, your, your shell can come back. And if I just do that, everything mentioned in my docker compose will execute, right? All the containers mentioned in my docker uh, will, will basically start. I do not want to do that. So what I can simply do is I can simply say ActiveMQ, okay? Because this is the name we have given to our, our container. So if you just say that docker compose up minus D ActiveMQ, it will automatically download the image for you. It will start the, the container for you and you are good to go. All right. Let's just quickly open docker desktop you can actually check the, the status over here. You can simply say Docker PS. So it will show you the processes. Okay. But I like using Docker desktop. You can, you can start stop things here. You can basically, you know, monitor things. You can launch um, CLIs and, and all these things. Okay. So our active MQ broker is up and running now. Let's just go to the, the admin screen. Okay. So let's just go to the, the admin screen. It's showing here that it's running on port uh, 61616, but that is the, 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 the TCP port where, um, you know, it's it's listening. Okay, what we do uh, would like to do is we like to open the, the web port. Okay, so first let's just click on open in browser, even though it's not going to work because it's, uh, it's the wrong port over here. So what we can do is we can quickly go back to our Docker compose file and it's actually listening on 8161 port for web because that's what I have specified over here. So I'm going to replace 8161. Okay. And uh, there we are. It's logged in. Sometime it might ask you for um, username and password when you're logging for the very first time. Okay. What happened here? Yeah. In, in my case, however, I, I logged in, I think, previously, so it has stored my uh, credentials. So credentials are admin, admin, okay, username, admin, and password, admin. So good news here is that our active MQ uh, broker is is up and running. So which means we can now just define our camel root and we can start interacting with active MQ. So the way active MQ works, you come to this console, you click on man. Ah, there we are actually. It, it doesn't store credential. Actually, you have to click on, on that thing. So credentials are admin, admin. There we are. It's saying, welcome to Apache Active MQ console at localhost. This is the ID. Okay. Um, this is the version. Um, uptime, two minutes, blah, 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 all these things. Okay. And over here, you will see queues, topic, and a number of subscribers. If I click on subscribers, you can see there is no subscriber at the moment because um, we have not yet uh, written anything which which can which can talk to it all right so queues again empty uh, there are two things you can do over here you can create your queue over here okay and then you can mention that queue in your camel root otherwise camel has a capability when you define a route it will automatically create the the necessary queues for you and i like to do do that way i like to control through my application all right so our Docker Compose, we can close it. POM, again, uh, we have now added all the dependencies um, we needed. Let's 
quickly create a root, camel root. So I have created this um, uh, class called JMS root. It's extending root builder. Okay, and we have overridden this configure method, which means we are ready to write our camel root. So what we do? We do from, okay, um, as per our, our slide, you simply say JMS and then you say Q and let's say I like to create a Q call orders. Since this is a just starting, you don't need to give any any you know options. Uh, but as as you start kind of deploying this application to production, you would, you can you can look at those those properties, and and you can start using it. One thing I like to mention over here is even though we are talking about GMS, if we are using ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ or or IBM MQ or any other broker, have a look at the dedicated components for those messages uh, message brokers camel suggests that it has a you know better support for do those message brokers if if you use the kind of native uh, component you know so for rabbit mq they have a rabbit mq component for active mq also they have a active mq okay but you, you can you can use jms okay it's it's it's, it's good as well uh, all right so we have specified over here jms q orders what I like to do is just to just to test uh, the waters over here. So let's say I like to print the message. So print on error level. Well, let's see if info level works because I've, I have kind of disabled few things. So what we like to do is we like to say got a message. OK, and then we can simply say dollar. OK, and you can say body. OK. So whatever body is coming from our ActiveMQ, we are just printing over here. This is just to test whether or not we are connected to um, ActiveMQ. Before I start, now you must be wondering, where are the, the credentials, right? Where is my host name? Where is my port? Where is, where is my username and, and all these things? Okay, here is the thing. There are two ways of, of doing that. You can actually define a um, connection factory Okay, or you can make sure it's a Spring Boot application that um, your camel is able to access a bean of type connection factory. And that's what I have done over here. So if I go to a class called JMS configuration, you can actually create a, a bean, okay, called connection factory. And in here, you just have to return new active MQ connection factory. By default, it's going to use admin admin. So I'm, I'm not doing that. So otherwise you could have given like, you know, there are there are quite a few. Um, OK, if I just take you to this class, there are quite a few um, overloaded uh, constructors. You can see you can give the broker URL. You can give in this format. If you like to specify username, password, you, you, you can do that too. OK, so I'm going to go with this this particular option, which is the broker URL. So the broker URL you will be giving is TCP localhost 61616. You must be wondering where this port is coming from. This port is actually coming from over here, right? That's what you gave when you started the, the active MQ uh, container. And this is the by default port. If you are changing it, you have to change, change the port. All right, so this is how you define a connection factory. So when camel starting, it knows you know how to how to talk to uh, active mq using the these these particular credentials okay there are several other properties you you can specify in this connection factory but we're gonna uh, we are going with um, you know very basic stuff okay the simple out of the box configuration over here um that's pretty much it i think we are now ready to start our application and ready to start sending message from from active mq all right, so let's start camel application. This is a Spring Boot application. Okay, as you can see. Okay, so application has started without any problem, which is a good news. Now let's just head back to our active MQ console. What you can simply do is if I now go to queues earlier, you remember, we did not see any queue, but if I hit queue, queues now, this, this hyperlink over here, you can see there is a one 
queue created orders okay and i can also see number of consumer is now one which means our application is now able to talk to our broker fantastic stuff now you can do actually you can just click on send to over here okay so if i hit that now it's going to ask okay what's what's your destination uh, this is queue by the way you can click on the send right at the top as you can see over here i hope you can see let me just try to increase the font size yeah i think that's quite visible now so you can either click on send button over here send link over here or if you are on queues if you do that things will be pre-populated for you like you know the orders queue etc if i click on send as you can see like you know it it's just a template it's, it's an empty page but so they are filling up with foo.bar so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on send to from my queue itself we're going to ignore all these headers for time being we don't need that reply queue and and you know number of repeats etc etc let's just send our first message first message hello camel only if i can type <laughs> all right so our console is empty let's just send our first message boom okay it's saying number of pending messages one number of consumers one if i refresh this screen there your message has been consumed and there we are our camel component camel jms component has read our very first message called first message hello camel woof woof okay so this is how you configure and connect gms gms component um, okay and 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 you can talk to any 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 broker um if you wanted to talk to rabbit mq instead of saying like you know um a active mq connection factory you can say our mq connection factory okay you just need to add a dependency in your your maven file you can search on net okay uh, what what dependencies you need um, and then you can you can you are good to go all right so that's pretty much it uh, i i wanted to show you okay and um, uh, i hope you like the video um, please leave a comment um, or or if you need anything else do let me know thanks for your time bye bye